Bristol Rescue Team, run entirely by volunteers, is celebrating its 25th anniversary. Hornsey Inshore Rescue responds to around 50 incidents a year, taking part in sea rescues, helping to find missing people, even helping out during floods. Well, Shirley Henry has been talking to those involved. Come rain or shine, volunteers at Hornsey Inshore Rescue are saving lives. Today is the eve of its 25th anniversary, but back in 1994, the town had no lifeboat, so they bought their own. It was, well, tonight you can stay on your drive, it can go in your garden at the weekend. Anyway, so we were stuck for somewhere to keep it, and then what happened was um, the Long Beach um, Leisure Park called us and said, we've got a old pig pen do you want to use it as a lifeboat station of course we did off we went and we started off in the pig pen <laughs> from flood rescue to missing people searches the team has helped to save hundreds of lives they go out in some very tricky situations and they put the life on the line when they do that so every time they go out my heart's you know in my mouth so who are these dedicated volunteers one minute I'll be fitting blinds in a customer's house, the next minute I'll be four or five mile at sea, saving lives. I'm retired and until they get a shout from the Coast Guard, pages go off, text goes, and I come rushing down here. This is something different to do, you know, we train once a week and we've got a real good crew and you feel like part of a team. And at their helm is Sue, the UK's first woman pilot launch coxswain. <laughs> Hauntsey has about 35 volunteers. The lifeboat costs £30,000 and its maintenance can cost up to £40,000 each year. Last year, the independent charity nearly folded, but thanks to generous donations, it survived to celebrate its silver anniversary. I might be at the head of the organisation, but everybody, there's such a fantastic team. We're like a big family, really. Um, we all care about each other, and to me, having a big heart like that in any organisation means a lot. Now, today is the 25th anniversary of Hornsey Inshore Rescue, and to help mark their achievement, we've been speaking to just a few out of the hundreds of people that they've rescued over the years. They include a family from Hull who were caught in a riptide off Mappleton Beach. Our reporter Shirley Henry has been to meet them. Having fun on Mappleton Beach, but last summer, a day out with friends and their children very nearly ended in tragedy. The sea had changed, the waves had picked up and Within a few seconds, and that was the time it took me to get there, they'd washed out. I could literally just see their heads bobbing up and down. Amy's two sons and their five friends were about a mile and a half out at sea. The youngest, Harry, was just eight years old. His older brother, Jake, tried to help him. Jake ended up trying to get me to come back, but I couldn't really go back. Because, like, you know, the riptide was, like, pulling me out. It's just the worst thing that could possibly happen to a mum. And the thoughts in my heart and mind were that we might not all come back from this beach together. One of the adults swam out to the boys and another called 999 and Hauntsey Inshore Rescue was deployed. Once we'd got the call, we was in the water within minutes. However, it was a few miles down the coast at Mappleton, so we had a bit of water to run before we actually got to them. And when we got to them, they weren't far off giving up. They was, they was in a poorly state. The crew rescued two people, but miraculously, the others, including Harry, broke the riptide and swam to shore. If I didn't break the riptide, like, accidentally, probably would, like, wouldn't be here. Like, I might have been adrift. Just, I might have not made it. I have felt guilty about it, but what I've realised is that I've got to educate them and make sure that they're not frightened of the sea and to help Hornsey Rescue in any way we can because if we didn't have that, then that day would have, could have turned out really bad. Because they're volunteers, you're sort of aware of the fact that 
what were they doing? And we did think that for a long time afterwards. What were they doing when, when we disrupted their afternoon? And so they've dropped everything to come to us. It seemed fitting that we should do something to give it back. So yeah, it definitely made us feel better about doing something and giving it back. We are uh, very, very lucky to have the uh, independent uh, Hornsea Inshore Rescue and uh, we uh, salute them on their uh, 25th anniversary. Mm -hmm.